Everybody, welcome to episode number 20 of Around the World in 80 Tangos from Berlin, Raimund and Daniela. And today we have the honor to give the next piece to a friend of us, to Ursula. And she is also one of the donators. And she chose a milonga for today. The song is called Saca Chispas, a recording of the orchestra of Julio de Caro from 1938. Sacachispas, what does it mean? Sacachispas is an Argentinian saying. It means something like, uh, let the sparks fly. And it comes from the word chispas, when the tramway, the tranvia, was taking a rail curve and it was so fast that sparks were flying. And so now it's a saying, if you are really fast, that you're so fast that you cause sparks. And it was a big development in Buenos Aires to come to connect the city with the area around, right? Yes, the tranvia was an important step to connect the suburbs with the center of the town so, pe so people could travel to work easily. And there's also a football club really famous with the same name, right? Yes, there's a football club called El Sacachispas, and I'm not sure whether uh, Julio De Caro made this as, an, as a hymn for this football club. Nobody knows. By the way, the wisdom about Sacachispas are owed to Stephanie Gonzio, a friend of us in Berlin. Oh yeah, thank, thank you, you. Steffi. Let's come to the singer. Luis Diaz, he lived in the same period like Julio de Caro. He started as an opera singer. He was classified as a dramatic tenor. Really unique in the tango world. Yes, and he was also uh, performing in Carmen of Georges Bizet. And later he was singing in the, in the choir of uh, Teatro Colón, the big opera and concert house in Buenos Aires. And then he changed to tango. Then he came to tango. He recorded with Donato, with Firpo, with Fresedo, and in this moment with Julio de Caro. Sacale chispas mi vida a tu pobre corazón No sufras el desencanto de vivir sin ambición No hay nada como un cariño para entrar una ilusión La vida resulta corta sin tener un metecón Get my life going for your poor heart. Don't suffer the disappointment of living without sense. Nothing better than somebody to love to maintain an illusion. Life is short when you are not in love. <laughs> so today we have a more happy lyrics for the for the milonga and it's, it's a happy milonga i mean it's really nice uh, to dance and yeah it's a really nice song and i have to say this is the shortest lyric i ever had while i was uh, looking at at lyrics at texts so it's really abbreviated it had it has eight lines and that's it so the song is composed by julio de caro he was a uh, inventor and he came from upper class and he was the second oldest of 12 children and he was supposed to play the piano and his brother should play the violin but then they something was happening and they changed yes to, to the big disappointment of his father giuseppe de caro de sica by the way a relative of vittorio de, de sica the italian director of movies to the big disappointment of Giuseppe, the two guys decided the other way around. So Julio became a violin player, a very good one, and Francisco a very good and innovative piano player. And he just threw them out from his house when he noticed that they wouldn't obey 
his wish to start with a classical career, they wanted to play tangos. So then, he said, go out of my house. You're not, not, so my... You're not my sons anymore. <laughs> oh, yes. And then Julio de Caro got shelter in the orchestra of Eduardo Arolas. Not a bad thing. They say later, after some years, there was a reunion, the sons and the father, and the father was confessing that he was, that he collected all the time every piece of paper and every newspaper article, and that he was so proud. And then they embraced and they are, were a family again. Tears in the eyes. Yes, of course. So, but he invented a lot. He was an innovator. It's even the saying that there is a period before Holy de Caro and one period after Holy de Caro, which is a bit of simplification. I'm sure that there were also very innovative musicians before or in the same time as Holy de Caro, but he is the landmark. And he was like, to make it simple, he was uniting European art form with the Argentinian dirt. Mm. Argentinian rhythms with the high art of composing, of arranging, of using instruments, of instrumentation, which came from European classical music. And he had the really special violin he played. On, on the pictures of uh, Julio de Caro, also on some uh, movie excerpts, you see a strange instrument which is called violin cornetta or Strohgeiger, after the inventor, Heinrich Stroh, he invented this instrument. It was a violin without a corpus. It has a horn, like a gramophone. And this was really a loud instrument. And I think it was invented because they needed loud instruments for this old recording technique, the acoustic technique, where the, the loudness, the pressure or the sound of the instrument has to impress the medium. Mm. to record the sound and so they wanted something which is was really very loud and the sound is a bit between horn and string instrument i'm not sure whether decada really liked the sound because he was an excellent player but it was outstanding it was really uh, you noticed the sound in in all kind of his recordings it was his trademark mm. and even They came from two completely different classes. So De Caro was upper class, Pugliese was lower class, but they had something in common. Pugliese uh, came with his first orchestra and his idea was to um, preserve the um, style of De Caro. His first recordings were many pieces of De Caro himself and they played them in the original arrangement. Only later Pugliese developed his own style, but in the beginning it was a pure De Caro orchestra. For me, this milonga of De Caro is really unique for me for De Caro. So it's hard to combine this milonga with another milonga. But thank you to Ursula. I will remember next time I will DJ. We don't know when this will be, but uh, I will play this milonga for sure. And I will find other milongas to combine. Same with me. I'm really impressed because it's the number is so straightforward, so well done, and there, there are no things. She, she. There are no show offs, no special things. They just play a nice milonga, very groovy. I love it a lot. I will put it into my repertoire. Yeah. Thank you, Oshi. And this was the episode number 20 of Around the World in 80 Tangos. Today we were going with the milonga. Saka Chispas, orchestra of Julio de Caro. He was also the composer. The singer was Luis Diaz. And thank you Ursula from Berlin. And thank you for traveling with us through tangos we love and we hope you enjoy it. And if you like to have a song We could talk about in this podcast please let us know and don't forget to donate before then we will be happy to serve you bye bye stay healthy bye